Hi, I'm Paul Price. I'm the CEO of ISOM, and I'm here to talk to you about some of the major problems that architects are having in their work today. We've been teaching ISA core and architecture at the solution, software, business, infrastructure, and information levels, as well as enterprise for many years, for over a decade now. And consistently students come back and, and, and come to class for the same reasons. Now, oddly enough, this does, it, this does seem to be independent of employer type. There's a large companies and small companies, nonprofits, government agencies, uh, local uh, government organizations, big fortune uh, 100 uh, service integrators, et cetera. And they can, architects consistently seem to have a similar set of problems. And those uh, that we capture in core are related to kind of the fundamentals of how to make an architecture role work. And what we cover in core is these fundamentals. It isn't really the lowest level topics. It's much more about the core topics to architects. Now I've taught this to classes of CTOs and classes of senior programmers. And the interesting thing is, is that once you connect these fundamentals and the fundamental concepts inherent in the Bitabok, you actually begin to look at architecture in a different way. So core solves a lot of problems. One, we talk not just about how to work with uh, business units, but how to originate ideas in digital transformation and value creation in business from digital activities. So we actually dig into teaching business skills and understanding of value creation, capabilities, service models, and customers, understanding how customers interact with the organization and getting in their heads to understand why a particular feature may be more beneficial to that customer than a different feature. We also connect that with change management. We connect it with things like agility and investment prioritization. How do we pick one product or project over the other? How do we think about how to compare the outcomes of those? How do we plan for them while retaining the ability to change quickly and adapt quickly to our environment, which is inherent in agility? So when we get into those components, we do a lot of design work. And, what's it, and, and this is another fundamental uh, component of why people come to class is the relationship between what's a requirement, a quality attribute, a, a need versus something that would be less important to a product or project. How do we think about uh, emergent design and just good enough architecture, or as we like to call it, architecture on a page? Now we dig into a toolbox and what makes Core so successful over these years is that we use a toolkit uh, called the structured canvas approach that really boils down architecture from big documents into working facilitation tools. Now I say facilitation tools and thinking tools because this is architecture done with stakeholders. It's architecture done with partners, development leads, product owners, business owners, customers themselves. So we actually build an entire toolkit around design thinking, around quality attribute and effective engineering, around pattern languages, and around delivery methods like DevOps and uh, uh, agile techniques that allow us to work most effectively as architects with our partners, facilitating uh, team thinking while actually narrowing the tool set on very particular and powerful ideas. So I hope that you'll join us in core. I hope that you'll join us in solution in some of our more advanced classes afterwards. But uh, I wanted to give you a rundown on why our students come to see us.